Good day to you and welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War, the Britannia Campaign. Fred of Asgarnia here and after a... Well, I didn't say this in my Mountain Blade video, but Happy New Year to you all. It actually totally slipped my mind, I should have said it. This is my first recording of the new year. 2013, the year we all should have... the year none of us should have lived to see. Cry. G God for Harry. England and St. George. William Shakespeare, Henry V, Scene 1. Henry, F Henry V, the man who won England the Battle of Agincourt against the French. Due a lot, actually, to um, the arrogance of the French knights. They were just so determined to get into the battle that they just trampled their foot soldiers, got caught in the mud, and were shot to bits. Not so much their arrogance, I guess. I mean, all knights were arrogant, English, French, or whatever else. Plus, the mud didn't help. That's right, fool! fool. It's an enemy ship. Can you not tell friend from foe? Huh. <laughs> By the grace of God, I can. Right. No, here's the problem. Now, in the last time, we took Ireland off England. Essentially, the whole country is ours. The country is ours. Ireland is ours. The trouble now is, though, what do we do? First, though, I think we need to make peace with England. So you, Don McSweeney are going to go to the, um... He's going to go to the England, to the Barons Alliance. Shut up. And strike up trade, strike up a trade deal with them. Then what we're going to do is we're going to try and make peace with England. That'll give us time to consolidate our position in Ireland. And hopefully, I mean, we, look, I mean, we've got a pretty big army now here in Athen Rye. Where do we get all these men? I don't remember these lads. Okay, the city's being auto-managed. Well, I don't like that. I do not like... I don't like my city's being auto-managed. Because the computer has no idea what I want. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend the next couple of turns building up our economy. I don't expect there'll be much violence, although I may take an army to deal with this bloke. Aid of... Aid the mean. You know, just to give you some... Just to give you some bloodthirsty buggers, some military action to sate your... To whet your appetite, to sate it. Hail Satis. Uh, focus on the economic buildings. Um, well, this is an exception, of course. Artillery, because, you know, we all need blood, cannons, etc. I might move some of those troops from Athenry to Tipperary, just to, just to keep order. Um, right. Move those Ostmen. Move the Ostmen. Um... Lord. Yeah. The Osman and some of the Hobby Cure. Hey, your cavalry are... Admiral Shorn. Such a steady name. Okay. We're not having much luck in the, um... There we go. First piece of artillery. We don't need them, but we're recruiting two batteries of them anyway. Because, let's face it, you can never have too much artillery. Okay, we're going to build a merchant's wharf here. A market, you know, basically just economically stimulating pieces. We need money. A bit contradictory, isn't it, since I'm spending it so frivolously. But it's necessary. That is what we need. I'm gesticulating with my hand. That said, we still seem to be making a handsome profit in spite of the fact I'm spending willy-nilly. Ah, you've got... Damn it, the English and the Norwegians have made peace. I was half hoping they'd take maybe... What's this? Neutral settlement, we don't know what it is. Well, Aye. that'll change. Castle Town. It's a shame they didn't take us. Come and get me, you if they had, we then could have marched an army and taken us. Island hopping mightn't do us any harm. Maybe we should have tried and taken the eyes of the Isle of Islay, but then we had problems of our own at the time. You, Assassin, Finian. See if you can kill him. The odds are heavily ag a or a place, nope. then, sire. You're a shameful display. Uh, look, I know you hate me because I whooped your ass. Oh, Captain Me. There we go, Tipperary. At peace. Cork now is on the verge is on the verge of revolution. But I'm not surprised with um Okay, just Drain some Jesse Javelin and keep them happy. And then maybe another merchant. The Merchant of Cork. 
Now, that's another question that needs to be addressed. Do we make Dublin the capital? Although I think Cork is angry enough as it is. And we just butcher the people of Dublin, so... Maybe that's too premature. Bad news is, Brian is on his way out. Not a good thing. He's our best general. We can't really... I know we're going to lose him. It's inevitable. But I'd like to know where... We've quite a small family. Oh no, here they are. They're all... They're all in Lifford. You're a pretty good general. Now the wrath... You're actually pretty good. Shame I can't name other people heir apparent, otherwise I would. Once again, though, prove me wrong. I could well be wrong on that fact. I don't know this game half as well as I should. I know it as well as I'd know the average Total War game. Master Explorer's Guild. We have the money to burn. And we failed to kill Abe Mean. But we had other things to deal with at the time, so lay off. And speaking of that, Niall O'Neill has just come of age in Dublin. Okay, good. So we do actually have... We have people who can replace us. Once we are dead. And then this steady cork out of it, which is nice. I wonder should we get a good manager out? Elodie O'Brien. He's an amazing manager. Uh, I don't know his cork, though, is economically powerful as it could be. Right, you. Finian McCarthy. You're pretty good. Go to Tipperary. We'll try and distribute our, um... We'll try to distribute our generals to the, the economic centers. You should be a pretty good manager. You're not. What are you like? You're a terrible manager. What are you doing here? You should not be the manager here by any shape of the stretch of the imagination. Go there. Yeah, good. The prince is the manager. It's good because you do... N a bad manager is almost... It's not as bad. It's... Mm, it's almost better to have no manager than a bad manager. No manager can't cost you money. A bad manager can. Okay, the castles aren't really a priority now, but, you know, that doesn't mean we're going to let them slip into disrepair. Anything here? No. Okay, next. What the hell are you? You're a very gaudy looking merchant. Oh. Take the... Oh, excellent. The Isle of Islay is still... Still fair game. Is this the Isle of Islay? Aye, Captain. Dropping anchor until the morrow, sire. Mool. Where's the Isle of Islay? Aaron. Aye. Let's see that again. Where is the Isle of Islay? Here. Okay, but apparently the, it's still fair game. That brings warm feelings to my heart. Plus, it gives us a chance to test out our new artillery. So, Niall O'Neill is the manager. He takes precedence over the king. Well, Brian. Well, Brian. You've got a, you've got another war to march to. No rest for the wicked, indeed. We're gonna take... We'll take most of the army of Dublin and march it north. Probably fly into revolution now or something. If revolution was technically possible at this time. Okay, so we're going to test our artillery in battle. Because we all love a good we all love to see guns in action, especially in this period of history with such a rare sight. And I just figured out what the date was. It's 1303. Derp. Okay. Let's see. Trade increase. Arthur Rourke feels appreciated. That means he's less likely to revolt, which is always a good thing. Cork, we have a merchant ready. So, the merchant of Corkig. Uh. Aye, sire. Ah, uh, I suppose. Nishapador de Corkig. Nakorkig. Would that be? De Corkig? Oh, God, I don't know. Silver is not worth as half as much as it should be. But who knows? There might be something down here. You! Elodie O'Brien. Is there anything down here that could make us money? No, this is a, um, Kerry is a sorry place, bereft of any sort of, bereft of money. Bereft of anything of economic value. Oh, you did a fat lot of good. Okay, King Brian. Where's the fight? 
Where I tell you. Is that the Barons Alliance, or have they suppressed us? See, I always thought the Barons Alliance was in the north, but then again, I could be wrong. Have a bride, excellent, because the more... Another person coming of age, Brian Nolan. Bloody hell! Good God! You're good! Well, I'll tell you what, you're the one who's going to be commanding. You're in Derry, are you? Well, you're the one who's going to be commanding the army, not Brian. We need someone to replace Brian. Where's the fight? So you can head back to Dublin. Aye, sir. We need somebody... Aye. He's fairly Fighting loyal, too. We need someone to replace Brian, Aye, because he's not going to be around Aye, forever. King. So this Every Brand Nolan bloke. Stopping here. Aye, okay, Aye, as long as these lads aren't... We are not. We are not here for a fight. <laughs> Norwegians not around for a fight. Well, not the Norwegians explicitly, but the Vikings? Aye. Aye, Which essentially, you're the descendants of. Move out. Right, we'll join up there. Admiral Owen, then we'll land our troops on the Isle of Islay. We shall listen to your proposal, but do not expect much. Ceasefire. We want peace. Map information. Exchange for map information. What do you say? It's Excellent! We're at peace with England! So... Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Oh, it was in the south. I was totally wrong. I suppose that would make sense, because I know there was a... I know the, I know Simon de Montfort was beaten somewhere in the south. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Peace in our time. The hollow words of Neville Chamberlain. They haven't taken London, have they? The Barons took London! Jesus! I'm beginning to think we shouldn't have made peace with England. They've got enough... They have enough troubles as it is. Yeah, England. England is in a lot of trouble. It's up shit creek without a paddle. Pardon my French. Command me. Load up into the transport. Indeed. Now. These men, we won't really need... I don't think we'll need our artillery. Artillery, they're not really something we're good. We're not going to need any additional artillery. I knew it. I told you. Didn't I say he was going to die? Brian, King Brian, is as dead as a doornail. Your king, the king is dead. Long live the king. The king is dead. Long live the king. The king is probably dead. The king is probably dead. Long live the king. Okay, King Brian is dead. He, he's heard the funeral bell, which was a knell that summons him to heaven or to hell. But he is dead now, as I knew he would die eventually. Sixty was practically ancient of that AA in this era. So I think King Domnall. He's not a King Brian, he is not the mo he is he's not he's just he is I'll be perfectly frank, he is no King Brian. And I don't think we have an, an emergent hero like say William Wallace. We haven't got one of those. So really if we want to if we want we're gonna build we're gonna build up our navy. If we want to prosper, we're going to need it'll just be by blood, sweat, toil and tears. Art O'Neill, not bad. We I think our country is in capable hands. And I by capable hands you know I don't mean mine. Explorers Guild, good, we have plenty of money. Faction announcements. Elidir O'Brien is a mean leader. Jack and Jill went up the hill. What was that one I heard yesterday? Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jack forgot to wear a condom. The condom broke. Jack fell down and broke his crown and now they have a daughter. I don't know. And something like that. Uh, I can't remember. I was never good at remembering these rhymes. Like this one. Jack be nimble. Jack wasn't nimble. Jack wasn't quick. Jack fell over and burnt his... Cordroys. Alright. Land the men. Get ashore now. Excellent. The Isle of Islay. Jesus, I think I broke a, I brought an unnecessarily large army. I thought it'd be I thought they'd be much tougher than this. Either way though, it's going to be a very rebellious settlement. I can't lose here. Right. I'm gonna cut the recording here, and the next turn we'll attack the Isle of Islay. So this has been Fred of Asgarnia, insane as always, and I'm signing off.